Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you some French knots and the correct way to do them and the wrong way to do them. Um, so we're going to start off with the wrong way. Um, the basic start of it will be the same as the right way. Um, so we pull up through the fabric. You're going to grab your floss about this distance, enough room for you to wrap the needle twice. So that's once and twice. Then you're going to go down through a hole very close to the one you came up through, but not the exact same one. Now, the problem I find that people run into is they don't hold it tight on the needle. So they let it loosen up and then they stop holding the floss all together and it turns into a mess. So let me do that a little bit faster so you can see what I mean. So they wrap twice, they find their hole, but then they lose contact with the thread and it gets all messy. So we don't want to do that. So I'm going to show you now with the pink floss the proper way to get perfect French knots every time. So you're coming up through your fabric and again you're going to grab it about this distance, wrap once, twice, find your spot, hold it tight. So this non-dominant hand is always holding. Find your needle, pull it through as slow as you need to to maintain your control and then there's a nice clean French knot. So we'll do that another time. <laughs> Up, holding it that distance, wrapping once, twice, finding that hole, finding that security, and pulling it really slowly through. One more time, faster for you. So I don't let go until the last second. Um, basically to get proficient at French knots, I just recommend grabbing a scrap piece of fabric like this and doing this over and over. Maybe fill in a big circle um, with French knots, as boring as that sounds. Um, that's the only way to get really confident. Okay, I hope this helped you guys. Thanks so much.